the plenary session paper on colorectal cancer is an adjuvant paper, no new drugs. It is a treatment pathway. Um, Dirk, why don't you run us through what the analysis is and what we're seeing? Right, that's combined analysis of six trials which have been run over several years in several healthcare systems at several scientific groups, Europe, US, US, yeah. US uh, across the world. And uh, the question was very simple, was should Folfox as a adjuvant B treatment or capecitabine oxaliplatin be given for three months or for six months? And if it would be given only for three months, what kind of loss of efficacy would be seen as still worth having this or calling this non-inferior or calling this similarly yeah. uh, efficacious? And so for me, I was looking for two endpoints. I was looking for, are the curves overlapping? Right. Um, and what's the neurotoxicity? Do I, do I reduce right. toxicity? And so anybody take a stab at what we found? I okay. see uh, the data. Clearly, I think that is obvious that if you do less therapy, it will have less toxicity. So the problem is... Uh, so is that part of my hope yeah. was positive, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, like, I think yeah. it's yeah. like 50, 60 percent grade 3, 4 versus neuro less versus 20. like less than and 20 percent. And you have to consider the oxaliplatin neurotoxicity is something that is really is the major problem for these mm. patients. Mm. Uh, we always say that this appears uh, quickly when you stop it, but this is not true in reality. A lot of patients still experience some neuropathy for a long, long time after they finish. And so if we can have the same efficacy on long-term drama as adjuvant and therapy that we do to all patients without knowing if they really need it or not, mm. because this is the, pro the problem when we do adjuvant therapy, in, even in stage three. Uh, so the disease. tox was better? The tox was better, and I think this is a good news. Now, the question is, uh, is that as effective as mm. more toxic? Because you know, in oncology, we are always saying the more toxicity, more activity that translates in more efficacy. So when you have a drug that is less toxic, you are afraid. And now we have a, a treatment that is shorter. Yeah. Is this shorter treatment like a priming? And we're talking about curative therapy yeah. here too. Yeah. So, right. so every patient matters. Each one of us will see you know, 50 to 100 adjuvant patients a year, and so if there's a 1% difference, mm. one of our patients will die right. if this is wrong, right? Yeah. So that even the 1% can, that's what the emotional mm. attachment, right. and we know the, the sub-trials that piled together, one we know is basically negative. It said yeah. that six months was right. a yeah. little bit better. Another one was a tie, the pooled analysis. Right. Mm. The pooled analysis was showing that non fiority could not be confirmed, so we say it is statistically within the assumptions which were made and we are always a compromise between clinical reality and clinical wish and what statistics can prove. How tight yeah. those curves How tight can it really be? But right. non-inferiority formally was not proven so therefore we can formalistically say well yeah we have to continue six months because the non-inferiority within the defined experiment was not seen. But you've seen the curves. However, I mean, curves, however the curves look let's say superimposable. You couldn't put a piece of paper in between yeah, those some, curves. Some of the subgroups you could but <laughs> generally, generally well, you could Well I think not. that's the important yeah. one yeah. of the important questions that was raised in, in the more locally advanced patients who mm. have uh, deeper T-stage tumors or more nodes positive. T4 web, and 2s. Right, exactly. Yeah. Right. And, and, what, yeah. and, and the curves tend to separate in that subgroup analysis, again, with, with uh, a large number of patients being examined in that subgroup. So I think it, it, we still probably will be left with a few questions about and that. that that's a the disease, counter to that, let that's me follow a disease up on free that. survival. Yeah. <coughs> so it's a three-year disease-free yeah. survival, which the is most, a surrogate. But the more advanced patients are the ones that have uh, the highest likelihood of being already metastatic. So you may be delaying <coughs> the disease reoccurrence, but not necessarily right, without changing, an absolute risk reduction. Not changing right. the, 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 the risk of sure. death. And, you know, it's interesting because one of my biggest challenges when we were uh, uh, part of CLGB 80702 so whenever I presented patients with a three versus six, they chose the three, and they didn't want to go on study. Yeah, three. The three were nervous. So they even were the though, patients. even yeah. though the patients, except for that's a lot of the patients, even though the patients understood that there may be a loss of slight loss of benefit with the three, they still opted for the three. So my compromise had been to go for three months of Folfox or Kpox straight and then the other three months were just simple 5-FU yeah. or CAPE because we know that 5-FU is where you it. get most yeah. of the, 
but you get most of the benefit from 5-FU, not yeah, from Oxali. There's no Oxali. question that's right. true. Well, there's Paul, also Paul, no question there's a psychological barrier yeah. that we have about less treatment, mm. uh, we oncologists. And I'm, I'm about 50 years old and don't remember when we gave more than six months. But, of course, I, there I was do. a trial <laughs> in the late 1980s which demonstrated that six was equivalent to 12. And I, I wondered yeah. uh, how, you, how you felt at the time You know, this started with the CMF glad, in adjuvant treatment of breast cancer yeah. because they were shown that 12 months Indeed. and six yeah. months were equal. I have also another psychological you know uh, consideration for a patient to stop after three months the means that the story is over mm. is cured is not or not it's just a, a, a cancer survivor right. six months means, means another three months of coming to do therapy to be followed as a patient because the patient thinks to be uh, you know sick when he's on treatment then it can become, you know, psychologically devastated for the follow-up. But he's not sick; he goes back to life. Yeah, but there is that security blanket of being right. on treatment. Yeah. Patients yes. are more. Yeah, you know, it's very uh, complex. I want to bring out two, but this is adjuvant therapy, points, you know. Yeah, adjuvant. So uh, the T four N twos were pulled out, and they did worse. And maybe there's some suggestion. Right. But the other group, the T threes and the N ones did really very well. Yes. And there was really no difference in that subgroup in terms of three versus six. I mean, so those, so maybe we're starting to sort, it, it'll matter a little bit there. And I'd be willing to show a patient those curves to reassure them mm. that three was just as good. Look at these curves. But, um, so anybody have thoughts on, on uh, that? I have just a consideration, John, because uh, these are the, Every time in a crisis uh, like this one, that we we have some statistical considerations and facts and some interpretation, it's very complex. You don't you don't know where to draw the line and to be on one side or another. This opens again our role as doctors yeah. and as a physician, and the communication with individual patients becomes the center of our life. That's so awesome. there will be no Doctor Watson that will help us in this, <laughs> and we will be there in front of our patients. Say, okay, these are the facts. You have been uh, treated. Uh, Maybe you have been cured by surgery. We know that you need some adjuvant therapy. We can offer you this. We can balance together and decide, for example, your compromise that is common sense. Yeah. Yeah. For me, after this data, will be one of the offers yeah. I will do to the patients. Yeah. But then discussing with the patients again, without delegation to everything else, mm. will be a major, uh, you know, I, I think this is a, the take home message for us. Yeah. Yeah. We should be back to be physicians, be interacting with, with patients. We're not so statisticians, they're, 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 we're physicians. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the amazing thing, that is a highly sophisticated debate about clinical use, about statistics, about assumptions. But if I look to my daily practice, what I've been doing during the last four years, there's no change and there's no gain in insight because what we have then been doing is when patients do develop neuropathy after three to four months, we just discontinue oxaliplatin and let them potentially run with one or two one remaining months with 5G alone to prevent this neuropathy. But so that's this is reinforced. Yeah. Yeah. This okay, is reinforced. So that's, that practice Absolutely. is reassuring Absolutely. that you can tell yeah. a patient you can stop Absolutely. your oxygen. So it positive. does drill down Absolutely. on the Absolutely. should you continue the 5 a few. This right. is cost, right. this is, you know, yeah. all of the right. things that right. go with it. I have several patients who know uh, that this data is being presented, and I'm going to face them next week in clinic. <laughs> um, if the Washington Post doesn't cover the story, then I've got to for them. So what should I tell my three-month patient right now, um, T3 and 1 patient? Are we done? Can I tell them we're done? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. This no, you're going to keep the Zelota going, <laughs> aren't you? I would, I, I would discuss with him whether you keep the Zelota going. Yeah, the Cape Sider yeah. being going. But yeah. I mean, I think it's, again, I think it's reasonable, as, as Fortunat said. It's very reasonable to have that discussion. But I think you have to have the two discussions. Mm -hmm. You have to have the discussion, listen, you know, with T3, up to T3N1, it's very likely that you don't need any further chemotherapy zip. But if you feel the anxiety, if the patient essentially, you know, this is a discussion. This is a doctor-patient yeah. discussion. If the patient feels that, you know, maybe another three months but less intense, I think it's reasonable then yeah. to talk 5-FU or capecitabine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the T4 and 2, I, I'd have the same. I, I, I want to, I, I think the data is compelling enough in my mind that three months of Folfox or Capox is more than enough for all patients. Mm -hmm. And the assurance is that extra three months of fluoropyrimidine and that is the bulk of the discussion, not the first three months, it's the next three months. Mm -hmm.